Right. Now that we've done all of our ads and everybody's in the class that knows it, if you haven't already, please start to order the different things that you need to do the lab starting in week three. The things that you're going to need, uh, the first is you need to buy a Chem 333 lab kit, lab materials kit from the SCC College Store. It includes five grams of caffeine, five grams of tartaric acid, uh, 10 grams of Taster's Choice coffee, and 10 grams of table sugar. And uh, I, I don't think this is five grams or 10 grams or anything, but I do, uh, before I send it off to have the packages made, I just kept a bunch of it so I can uh, preview the labs for you guys and set up for things. Uh, but I have my tartaric acid, I have my caffeine, I have, uh, well, bought my own thing, a taster's choice, so I got my own taster's choice, and I'm just going to use sugar from the kitchen. So um, those you'll need pretty soon, actually, so you should order that, uh, or go pick it up, um, whichever one you work works for you. Then you'll need the digital coffee scale, and um, there are a number of them. Uh, this I got on Amazon, uh, brown, they make brown ones, black ones. Um, and uh, it has <clears throat> both a timer and a kitchen scale part to it. And really, you don't need the uh, you don't need the timer because you can use your phone. Most of them come with that. What you do need is in grams. You need the scale to read uh, to the tenth of a gram, and that's freaking out because I'm holding it up like that, but not to the nearest gram, to the tenth of a gram. That's what we need. So check that out before you buy it. Then you'll also need, ah, the most important piece here probably is the Clever Dripper. And the Clever Dripper, uh, what's clever about it is that um, when you put your filter in and you put your coffee and you put your water, it steeps. And so we can control the amount of time that you make your coffee, sort of like tea, right, when you steep. So it doesn't just pour right through. Um, and it only pours right through when you place it on a coffee cup. So we're going to do some experiments with that, and that's going to be an important part of this. Um, so, yes, we, you need a, a Clever Dripper. Um, if you want to try and modify a pour over so to stop it um, I think that's going to be difficult but I'm always open to <laughs> innovations so you might want to try and getting a a rubber piece uh, from your hardware store to fit over where it comes out and then cap it I don't know if that's not going to be quite as clean I don't think but be interesting to hear about if you want to try it uh, next thing we're going to need that's going to help us make our coffee is a three-in-one clinical refractometer. It looks like this. When you look into it, you should see on the right, uh, left-hand portion, I think I'm mirrored here, on the, this is my left anyway, <clears throat> you should see uh, 1.36, 1.355, 1.35. Uh, that is your refractive index scale and... Um, that's so and again look for this uh, I think the link I have on there is one of the few ones on Amazon that has it um, and uh, certainly I think it's one of the least expensive versions possible uh, all right so continuing through or the equipment that you'll need you'll need a grinder many people who are into coffee already have one so uh, I got mine for two dollars at a yard sale about 10 years ago and it's working just fine these are called blade grinders, and a blade grinder is a decent way to make coffee, and we'll talk about how to get the best use of your blade grinder. Uh, if you're fancy and you have a cone and burr grinder, even better, but that's going to be significantly more expensive, and I know things cost enough for this class already, so uh, blade grinder, more than adequate for what we need. Ah, then the Nostalgia Popcorn Popper. Just a second, that was the one thing I forgot to get in preparation here, but I always have mine handy. Uh, right here comes from Sweet Maria's with four pounds of coffee, and uh, anyway, so uh, oh, yeah, let's take it out. And then I've had this, I've been prepping this class for years, 
So uh, I have it. And uh, the important thing is that when you look inside it, when you actually use it, the air vents create a circular flow for the beans. And you'll see the beans go in circles. And this is a very important part for the class. Because if you don't get this popcorn popper from Sweet Maria's, you'll burn your beans and you'll create a fire. And that's a huge safety concern. We do not want that to happen. Um, even so, we need a, you need to have a fire extinguisher handy as well, um, just in case, because we're always safe. All right, uh, the thermocouple that we're going to use, also from Sweet Maria's. Um, this goes up to, I think, yeah, it says 750 degrees C, um, uh, which is more than we need, but we are going to be putting this in the popcorn popper to measure the temperature of our uh, roasts. So, uh, and this is good. It works all the way down to minus 50 as well. And we're going to find that this is a very good and, uh, you know, very good way of measuring temperature. <laughs> it's a some pro style, actually, very scientific. And then finally, on the list of things that are required is a uh, pH probe or pH tester, also called a pH meter. But the meters tend to be fancier than this. Um, and this for, uh, I think, $11.99. $12.99, depending upon where you find it, uh, is a really good buy. And we're going to uh, learn about the pH of coffees as well. Um, finally, the last thing, and I've only got a few members of my kit here, uh, which again, I've had for years because I've been doing these kinds of activities even for Gen Chem classes during the pandemic. But it's got my um, plastic pipette. I've got some of my beakers. The rest of it's around here somewhere. And all of these things we're going to use throughout the lab. So please order them so that you have them by week three. And so please order them soon.